There's probably 50 to 75 trout sitting right here in front of me. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today they stocked one of my local favorite creeks by my house this week. So we're going to do a little bit more trout fishing today. This one's one of my favorites because it's such a small creek. Um, there's so many little hidey holes that the fish can live in. It's so cool to see how many trout can really stack up behind one log or behind one rock. And it really gives you a chance to just to get fish everything in the creek as opposed to fishing a bigger creek where you can only fish like a little bit of everything or certain areas. I can walk this whole stretch. It's very small. It's going to be a ton of fun to check out some of these places, see how many trout are in here, and hopefully we can catch us a whole bunch of trout today. If you're new to my channel, go ahead down below and hit the subscribe button for me. I'm trying to reach that thousand subscriber mark, so if you could help me out with that, that would be greatly appreciated, and you won't miss any more of my fishing tips or videos. All right, guys, the fish are literally calling my name. I can't wait to get out there and try and catch some fish. Let's get the waders on, let's grab the rod, and let's go fishing. All right, guys, just made it to the first spot of the day here. We're starting with the same float rig from the last video with the power bait trout worm. We're gonna try and catch them all in a trout worm today. But if not, we can show them some other offerings if they don't like that. Uh, we're starting on this little log jam. Got two right here in a little deep hole. So we'll see if there's anybody home. Well, my usual spot did not work out. Uh, there's a big tree that fell there. So the hole is no longer like it used to be. So we're going to go on a little adventure and walk around the creek and see if we can find another spot that has a big pile of trout in it. Well, that did not go as planned whatsoever. Um, I literally had zero bites and fished all of the good holes that usually have fish in them. Talked to one other guy on the creek. He said he only had five and he's been here all morning. So we're gonna move to the upper limit of the same creek where they stock. Hopefully, there will, they might have dumped all the fish just right at the top there and let them swim their way down. So hopefully we can catch a couple up there. If not, we may have to find another creek again this week and try and find some more fish again this time, but it has not been working out so far. So we're gonna get after it and see if we can find something else. All right, so we just moved up to the top, uh, top of this creek here where they start stocking. So they started stocking here and went downstream. I'm thinking they just dumped all the fish in here just like they did on Deer Creek last weekend. So right here, there's a big pile of fish. We switched back up to the egg pattern. We're gonna see if we can get a couple bites first and then we'll switch back over to the power worm if we can catch a couple. Oh my gosh. There we go, oh, he came off. Wow, there's a lot in there. There are so many fish right in this hole. I'm watching my bait go down. Here comes one. No. Wow, there is a lot in there. Okay, so we're going to deepen our float up because I'm floating over the top of them. So we're going to go just a little bit deeper. We're going to throw it right back in there and let it sink down to them. Oh, and we had a bite. There's probably 50 to 75 trout sitting right here in front of me. There's one, finally. Oh. He came off. We are gonna switch back to that power bait worm and give it a go. There's one on the pink worm immediately. There's the second one of the day. That one was on that pink worm that we switched up to, the power worm. We're gonna throw him back and see if we can catch some more. There you go. There's another one. That one came off. Try it again. Oh, there was one. So all I'm doing here, I have my depth set to the depth of this hole. 
I'm casting where the trout are, and I'm just giving it some little pops like this to give it some action, and then they bite it once it jigs in front of one's face. So give it a couple twitches, and then letting it sit and drift, and see if I can get the attention of one. Just like that. Oh, he came off right there too. They're not staying hooked very good. Okay, I've had like 16 tangles already and had to retie like four times, but we're back in business and we're gonna try again and see if we can get one. Hopefully we can keep them hooked up because they keep coming off whenever I hook them too, which is not helping. There we go. Oh my gosh, how do they keep coming off? I don't understand. I've lost like seven fish already. There's a pile of them in there. They literally all can't even fit in the hole. They're all swimming on top of each other because they all can't fit in there. There's another one. Oh my gosh, he came off too. This is unbelievable. Is this hook like not sharp or something? Okay, we're changing hooks. Okay, re-rigged again, fresh hook, feels sharp. So we're gonna try and actually catch a couple this time before I hook every one of them and lose them and then they don't bite my worm anymore because they know what it is. So let's see if this fixed our problem. There we go, finally, geez. We're gonna walk down here and actually get them from the water since I know where they're at now. Come here, buddy. Hey, look at that, we landed one. I know we already landed a couple, but had a little streak there of losing them like every single time I hooked them. I lost like seven in a row. He jumped right back in. He did not want to let me film him. That's okay. We'll catch another one. Throw it right there. Jig, jig, jig. Got one. He's just a little baby. Get him off the hook. Hopefully he'll let me take a video of him. Little guy right there. Go ahead and let him go. All right, so we're gonna throw it right back in there. Right where they've been, let it sink. Jig, 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 nothing. Jig, 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 jig. There was one, just bit it. Got him. It's like every cast in there until they figure out what my pink worm is and then they stop biting it. Another little guy right there. That one's nice and shiny, he's silver. We're gonna go ahead and let her go. If you guys have never tried these worms before, they are awesome. I, I always catch a ton of trout using them. They've always worked for me. And you don't have to keep rebaiting your hook every time if you're using live bait or something like that. And they work just as good as a regular worm. Okay, so we were unable to find any more active pods of fish that were willing to eat a bait. So we're back at where we started earlier this morning. We're catching a few. Uh, switched back to the egg fly, and we're going to see if we can get a couple to bite here to finish off the day. There we go. Finally. That one's fat. Just try and get down here and grab them. Switched back up to that egg pattern from last weekend. I caught a short one, but he's fat, so we're gonna go ahead and let him go. See if we can get another one out of there. They've been biting at almost every cast, but it's weird because I think they're biting the split shot instead of the actual egg pattern itself. But we'll try and catch a couple more before we get out of here for the day. There's another one. He is... That is a very small fish, and very short. That's a weird looking one there. I don't even know, he's all sorts of deformed. We'll go ahead and let him go back. See you, bud. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video. We finally found that little pot of fish. It seems like all the stocking they're doing, they're just dumping them in one place and just leaving the fish there to scatter through the creeks themselves. So it's been tough to find them in the creeks lately. Um, either way, it was fun catching them on those power worms and then eventually switching up to that egg pattern once they got used to that and catching a few more. So if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like down below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of my fishing tips or videos. Thanks for watching.